Hey everyone, today I am going to show you something that will blow your mind. It's called Let's Make a Plan. In Power Platform, Microsoft Image already evolving and using generative AI and new AI features in these products, in its, in its products, right? In Power Platform ecosystem. But Let's Make a Plan is a game changer, which uses generative AI features inside Dataverse and Power Platform. But just using few lines of natural language, you can build entire table and columns, relationships, data model, and even apps as well, automatically. You do not need to uh, brainstorm and you do not need to create it manually, right? So if you log in powerapps.com, you'll find the let's make a plan is available on the home page where you can start with, right? So what is a let, let's make a plan? It's actually a co-pilot co powered experience in Dataverse that helps you build a data model using natural language prompts, okay? For example, you want to create a, a table to track patient appointment with dates, or doctor status, notes, etc. And boom, it will create for you all the Dataverse tables, the required columns, even relationships to other tables if needed. And it's perfect for non-developers actually, okay? So you can click one of the uh, prompt given here on the top and it will take it for the next step. Otherwise, you can give a prompt from scratch in here in this text box. Okay. The point here is generative AI or let's make a plan uses a number of agents, AI agents to understand your requirement using natural query language, prepare your business process using process agent and there is also app agent which is running in background to create your app. So agentic AI is playing in background to do the action steps. Okay. So let's start with a use case so that we can understand, right? Let's say I want to give a prompt that I want to create an app to store app so that my employees can log vacations vacation hours okay so this is my prompt i want that an app that i that i can use to manage or that my employees can use to log vacation hours so this requirement may seem simple but there is a special data model required for this right to manage employees its vacations right all these things okay now, once you give the natural query language here or prompt here, whether it is one liner or multiple liner, doesn't matter. Once you give it here, you have to just click next. Once you click next, it will try to analyze your requirement. And there are four agents working for your requirement. You see, you see here, if you click this, there are three agents working for your project. There is an agent which is called as requirement agent. That agent, AI agent, will just analyze your requirement and define solution. And data agent is a, another agentic AI which is actually create the data models by taking the requirements. There is another agent called as solution agent which is the agentic AI which defines the solution. Okay, so this agent analyzes these needs and uh, generate the technologies that will be used to address the problem right so multiple agentic ai is used for your uh, project or for your requirement to do the task right now here what it does actually your requirement gets analyzed in this step okay and once it is analyzed it will give you the list of required data model in next step but here you need to validate it is identified that what what stakeholders or what are the users involved in this project one is employee another is manager what employee can do a, a, as an user employee log his vacation hour so that my time off is recorded right a user's time off can be recorded okay he can view logged in vacation hours okay whatever vacation logged he can view as a employee he can edit, he can submit vacation hours for approval, right? I have not mentioned all these requirements. The agent, requirement agent 
analyze my requirement and gather extra information okay and as a manager what is the requirement i have not given the manager requirement but the ai analyzed that this is a required one the, as a manager he will review the submission or submitted vacation hours and approve or reject okay now this is what the agents defined for your requirement one line of requirement now divided into two process this is my business problem you can see in user interface and there are two stakeholders or users employee who will log the vacations and manager who manages or approves or rejects the vacation entries now if you looks okay if you want to edit anything you can edit okay you can edit or add your own requirements extra requirements but if it looks good you can click on looks good and next your data agent will define a data model data model means what are the tables required to store data first there is a employee record required employee table which will be used to store employee information vacation log is another table which will be used to store vacation hours logged by employees there will be another table to store managers okay and there is a notification this table contains the record of notification sent to the employee and manager for vacation entries then vacation approval this vacation approval is another data table or table in dataverse to store the mapping between vacations and approvals looks good to me right i can edit it also if i want to add more tables i can also tell the ai to add more data tables or models otherwise looks okay go ahead in the next step it will try to analyze what technologies will be used to define this app you do not need to do anything just click once now the solution agent identified that for your project these are the apps required one is employee vacation app which is a canvas app users can enter uh, vacation information each employee can enter vacations right next manager vacation app where manager can approve or reject the uh, vacations entries next vacation flow it is a power automate flow that will send notification to the users for uh, vacation entry or approvals next the vacation submission flow there is another flow power automate required to to run on vacation submission to send approval right so looks okay to me one canvas app one model driven app one two flows if you want to change this canvas app to model driven app for any chance you can also click this and edit it okay you can ask that please change vacation app to model driven app to model driven app and click next now this way your solution agent will try to convert this to model driven app before it's finalized you see manager vacation app model driven app and at last this employee vacation is also model driven app i don't want to create a canvas app that's why i told data agent or solution agent to revise my technologies now looks okay to me click keep on keep and looks good once you click on looks good you can click on save tables because all the data tables will be now created in the background and you can choose which solution you want to use to store your data tables or tables right from the data model click on save it will create a solution for you and inside this solution all the tables that has been decided previously in this data model section will be created and after that you can create the apps using the technologies right now it is disabled because tables are still on in progress once all the tables are created you can now create apps till now whatever i displayed i have not written any single line of code or i have not followed many screens to create this type of uh, apps or data model the agents are doing the work for me that's the work of ai right that's why it is called as the game changer whatever complexity of your project it will do the work for you okay so ai understands relationships context and builds everything you need to go or you need to get started now here you see 
all data model is done now i can create one by one app so i'll go here and create the app once i create the app it will create the model development app for manager vacation app if i'll go here and create this employee vacation app click on create it will create the app for employee vacation okay now we can verify that let us see how employee vacation app looks like once it is built you can customize all the apps at any time but with minimum requ uh, requirements it will create all the apps for you so that you can customize later on okay now let us see it will take couple of seconds and create your app so that we can test it now i'll go here once it is created and try to create a vacation entry okay now this is the model of an app the uh, let's take a uh, let's uh, create a plan now creating the app for me using all the entities like vacation logs and employees and you see the sitemap is also created automatically and the views created and also with sample data that has been added now i can click on play so that i can test it how this employee vacation app works for me and if it is in line with my requirement that i was expecting or not now this is the power apps that has been created once it is published and you see you can add employees here you can go to employee and add new employees let me create a new employee click on new and add information employee name let's say rajat kumar this is the employee name i will save and close and for this employee that is just created i want to create a vacation log so i'll go to vacation and create a vacation and i can choose the vacation log name but where i can select the va the vacation i can directly go to here also from the employee because we have relationship i can directly go to the vacation logs here and create a new vacation log and i can select vacation log let's say vacation for personal region and here there is no from date and to date right if you go here in the table you can also customize that okay in vacation table you can also add more columns right now information is there vacation hours employee name but whenever i am accessing this form i am not able to access those fields on the form that i can customize if i'll go here in the employee and go to the pages i can see vacation is here and i can click on the edit form so that i can add more information on this form okay you can also directly go to the entity and change this form okay if i'll go here or customize from there only now this is the form of vacation and here i can filter by custom and add necessary information date logged employee name then vacation hour then also i will use status and move owner to top and save and publish so this customization you can do or you can tell the ai to do that okay but if it is better you use this customization later on because you may need extra information uh, after the after it is created right now let me refresh this i have updated this form i am expecting this will load latest data no it is not updated let me update again save and publish override their changes now once you update your form it will render the latest form layout in your app right so if you go here and create a vacation you can define for which employee you want to create let's say employees rajat and i can select this log hour let's say today and vacation vacation for personal region and vacation hour let's say 5 and status pending right and click on save okay now you might have another process to send this request for submission 
but the flow is not yet created. You can create a flow from the plan to submit this request so that approver will approve it. But that is still under process. You see, this is the flow, vacation submission flow. Now this flow has not been created. So you can create it so that it will create a power automate to send a vacation information for approval to managers. So ultimately, the let's make a plan feature. Let's make a plan feature helps to generate a different data model and apps for each purpose. Okay, but you can customize later on. You see, when a new response submitted, this is the trigger identified. But this trigger is identified because it understands that the uh, users are submitting vacations using forms but i am not using forms if you are using forms you can use this trigger otherwise you can change this trigger using dataverse trigger okay so if you would have given here the proper prompt then it will generate your uh, flow let's in the flow description i want to give i want to slightly change the vacation users will record vacation using dataverse only now click next in here it will try to create a trigger connecting to dataverse not forms microsoft forms you see add a new rule then you can customize so everywhere copilot is integrated you can add your natural query language natural language and it will build the trigger suggestions for you okay now i don't want to add a new record record trigger rather i will click on i will tell that run the flow when a record selected in data box so that a user can submit the vacation on demand. Now, if you click on next, it will now change the trigger when a row is selected. You see. Now you can change this letter also. Let's say click on keep and continue, and it will automatically identify the connectors and create the flow. Now it will create the flow for you. So ultimately let's make a plan is the game changer to analyze your requirement and identifying different data models and technologies for your app okay now if you think that this trigger is not okay you can just delete it and add a trigger according to your need that's my trigger is dataverse and when a row is selected so i can use this one which row is selected i want to use let's say employee or vacation now whenever a vacation log is selected what I want I want to send an email to the approver or manager you should have a approver here so that you can send email right so you can send email or you can search you can get the email ID for the approver so the point here is till now whatever your plan is suggested i am following that plan but you can customize depending on your own granular use cases okay and verify and proceed that is how let's make a plan helps using multiple agentic ais thanks for watching this video i hope you understand how to use plans to define your data model and apps suggestions and also the actions